All right, today we're doing a solo session, which is going to be pretty interesting because I haven't done one of these uh, before by myself. So we're in zone one here, which means we have the assassin, unless we want to go over to zone two, which is all the way across the map, basically, um, to find clues for the butcher and, you know, potentially go and, and uh, banish him, basically, kill him, banish him, and get the, uh, the bounties. Uh, that being said, though, since I'm solo, I am playing against teams of two um, and potentially other solo players, which, to be honest, is a little bit unlikely because when I've played um, in teams of two, I have only seen a solo player maybe once. So, um, yeah, it's probably just going to be all teams of two, to be honest. So that being said, let's find our first clue. There's one right here. Um, there's a guy behind me, of course, with a horse. And something I forgot about is when I play in teams, usually uh, Fish or Anthony will be the ones who kill the horses. Um, because they have... Oh, let's kill this lady. She's dead. Um, because typically they have silenced weapons. And silenced weapons are great in this game because it doesn't give away your position, obviously, to the other teams. Um, but in this case, I totally just went ahead and rocked with my usual setup, which uh, may or may not be good for me in this round, but we'll find out. Okay, so we got our first clue that essentially eliminates these regions um, from where the bots could be. So we're going to continue this process. There's a clue ahead of us here. One big thing about this game is audio is a huge piece of this. They have amazing 3d binaural audio that they recorded for this so you can tell very clearly where uh somebody is in relation to the sound that's coming through um and you can also tell like if they're walking running crouching that kind of thing there's some chickens here that i really don't want to annoy and, and let people know where i am um but yeah so that's the the whole premise with the audio which is pretty cool I've seen a couple solo players on YouTube and at least the ones I've seen, they kind of have a completely different strategy from when you're uh, on a team. Typically, they will completely disregard the whole banishing or killing of a boss and they'll kind of stick around the outskirts. Oh, there's a guy right, uh, there's a meathead. Hold up. There's a meathead, and he looked a little bit agitated for a second. Which could mean that there's somebody here. And to be honest, I have not mastered this game one bit, as I'm sure you've seen in my other videos. Um, so where I stand for cover is usually not the best place in the world, considering my KD ratio is uh, below one. But we're still learning. Oh. I think I heard somebody die. Let's just make our way to this clue. And we'll kind of stay a little bit quiet during this whole time. Just to make sure we're not getting flanked or, you know, people randomly show up here and surprise the hell out of us. I don't know how far I'm going to make it in this uh, in this round, to be honest with you. So we got an emulator. These guys are uh, not the best things to deal with. You can either punch him with uh, some special melee tools, or you can hit him with these choke bombs, um, which are very effective. See, they get aggravated here and then he dies immediately so the only problem with the choke bomb is that it's quite loud as you just heard and if i run through this it's also going to make me choke like that um, which is all great ways for other players to know exactly where i am so i think we're i think we're in the clear to be honest Oh, there's some of these grunts, and I just shot. That was great. Okay, let's go ahead and investigate this clue and 
and make our way out of here a little bit quickly. Just in case anybody else is on the way. There's also these crows, also a great way to show other players where you are. Um, so you don't want to agitate them enough for them to fly away. There's a lot of gunshots coming from kind of this area, I believe, the south. So it's possible that a team already found um, the boss, the assassin. And they could be fighting him already. So what we're going to do is actually head this direction. It, th the shots may have been coming a little bit more southwest. Um, but we're going to be heading down south. And we're going to go and see, just kind of hang out on the outskirts of Alice Farm. And see if we can spot anybody. And if we can, great. We'll try to see if there's any opportunity for us to basically, you know, take him out, kill him, um, and we'll see what happens. Not the best player whatsoever, so it's possible that I will miss very badly, and they'll know exactly where I am and come hunt me down, but at least it'll be a, a good time doing it, so... Okay, so Alice Farm is over here. So let's kind of get through the forest a bit and we'll we'll stick. There's a lot of zombies here. Let's go ahead and kill them. But we're gonna stick a little bit out here so we can kind of assess what's going on inside. And I'm hearing a few footsteps, but I believe it's just a bunch of zombies walking around. They uh they like to make things a bit exciting. It sounds like there's, yeah, there's a zombie right there or an emulator. Ah, oh, it's an emulator, which is really annoying because I'm trying to be pretty inconspicuous. And if he goes off and I got to use a choke bomb and all that jazz, then it, it kind of defeats the whole purpose here. Um, so let me check something real quick. I'm just going to check the, uh, the area. I don't hear anything at all. I also don't really see much here. Um, the emulator sounds a little bit annoyed. Maybe that's just him doing his normal thing. But anyway, what I've seen online, what I was saying earlier is um, some solo players, they'll stick outside of the area kind of wait for other players to go inside there was a shot kill the the boss and then they'll they'll kind of just kill him one by one from that standpoint um because obviously if you're go if you're going in by yourself it's gonna be pretty hard to to kill him by yourself while you're trying to fight other teams so i did hear a shot which was relatively close The effective range on this gun is not the best, but it's also not the worst, um, and it's got a scope, which is great. I could also wait for somebody to kill the assassin and start banishing him, which will tell me exactly where he is, which is going to be one of these two locations. We just went here, didn't find him, um, so it's going to be one of these two locations for sure. I'm honestly really surprised. We could start to approach Alice Farm and use our dark sight to see if the assassin is there. So we're gonna do that. But we're gonna be very quiet. I'm not typically your aggressive um, Call of Duty player, if you will. In some instances, I will go that crazy just if it's a strategy, uh, you know, if somebody's reloading or healing or whatever and it catches them way off guard. Let's see, we can use dark sight. If we're in region, uh, like within a, a certain radius around the assassin, then we will start to get a notification on the assassin icon on the top left. There's crows right here, which is, uh, don't want to set those guys off. So we're right next to the farm. I don't think he's here. There's chickens right there. So let's go ahead and make our way to the chapel, which is going to be all the way on the uh, east side.
I'm trying to be somewhat vigilant, keeping my ears open as I'm talking to you guys. Because again, this game relies super heavily on audio. So if I can't hear somebody um, walking because I'm talking, then that might totally blow my strategy here. So we need to go this way. Ah, come on, trees. I'm really surprised nobody's banished yet, either of the two bosses. That's really surprising. Either everybody's dead, or uh, <laughs> people are just kind of, you know, doing things slowly, I guess. The game's already been going for 10 minutes or so. So there's some dogs over there. That's what that howling is. Those are also... Bit annoying to handle by yourself if there's more than one. Okay, we're starting to get close to the chapel. Let me start to peek. There's certain places in this game that are worse than others to, you know, fight a boss at or to fight other people at, for that matter. Um, and the chapel, I'm pretty sure, is definitely one of those. All right, we're gonna fight this guy. We made it real obvious that we're here. Oh boy, all the zombies are coming after me. Talk about being stealthy, not one bit. I also don't have any stamina, which is that yellow bar at the bottom here. Okay, hopefully that's the last of them. We got some shooting, so we know not everybody's dead, at least. We really have the whole posse coming after me. Okay, we really got to start being careful here. Because if the assassin is here, which we will go and check. Oh my. Some of these, like some leaves and stuff, sometimes they look like people and they really freak you out for a hot second. Um, but yeah, if the assassin is here, we're definitely going to start seeing some people who are looking to, to get their bounties. So let's, let's play it a bit safe here. Um, if I really want to play it safe, I probably should be behind some trees over there. But it's super, super quiet. Let's do a quick check in this building for any movement. The chapel is a bit annoying because the whole um, zone where the boss would be is actually underground. Oh, yes, he's here. Okay, he is here and there's people here. On the top left, the assassin blinked red, which means he's in fact here. And if it's red instead of white, it means that people are also here. So typically what'll happen, people are currently fighting it. I think I heard it. Yeah, you can kind of hear it in the background a bit. Um, they may or may not have already set up traps, but I can tell you this Spot is not ideal whatsoever for a so solo player. Anything underground like this, we might have to switch up our strategy a bit. Um, I, I want to stay out of the zone so they don't know that I'm here. If I can see that the assassin's blinking red, so can they. So I want them to feel very comfortable so that they come out, start running around, and I can just pick them off as best as possible. Um, in terms of openings to this underground layer, there is one, there's a couple actually inside the church right here. Um, and then there's one way over there on the like northwest, west side in the, the cemetery region. Oh, there's a clue right here and it's raging. That's not good. 
See how that's shining red and making a weird ass noise? That means I'm within region of other players, which again could just be them downstairs. I am eventually gonna shut up. <laughs> and I've been talking this entire time. Again, I'm not in the best spot for uh, cover. Got a really annoying zombie there. So they, I, they may or may not have killed him. I don't know, but they haven't started banishing him, which is when the, the whole map goes kind of black here. I'm gonna kill this guy. So I don't have to think about him anymore. Not the most um, <laughs> quiet thing to do, but I think we're okay. I think they're downstairs. Yep, they're fighting it right now and they got a pretty heavy gun. So my guess, this is why I'm a little bit more comfortable up here right now, is they're both down there killing the assassin. I think they actually just killed it um but they're gonna start banishing and i can either start going in which in this area not the best idea at all it's very easy to trap every single entry point into this underground layer because there's only like three or four um just checking for bad guys okay cool they are banishing which is exactly what i expected so from this perspective, it would be really stupid for me to go underground. I'd probably get picked off in seconds. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of hang out for a second. We're gonna see, now that the assassin's being banished, it's gonna let the whole world know. So we might have a whole slew of teams making their way here already. Um, so if that's the case, I am actually in a pretty good spot here, right against the edge of the map, basically. So unless somebody surprises me down here, which is totally possible, um, I suspect they'll be coming from basically this area in front of me. And if so, okay, cool, the butcher's being banished too, so that should take away a little bit of interest from people coming here. But if and when people do come here, they're probably going to start to... Um, rattle the hornet's nest. So they're gonna go down there, start shooting, doing their thing. I'm gonna potentially try to pick him off um, if I have a really good opportunity to do it. If it's a little shady, they're moving around a lot, I'm not gonna make myself known too much. Um, but the reason I, I can shoot them is it's possible that the other team thinks that I'm part of the team who killed the assassin. So everybody has no idea what's going on. They don't know that I'm a solo player. So um, in that case, I should be relatively safe as long as they don't know where I am and start shooting me, obviously. Um, but I've got a lot of space here to run around and try to hide, which is, which is solid. So I can pretty much run around all this region and be pretty much safe for the most part. Um, but we'll see what happens. <sighs> He's at 60% banishing. So after they finish banishing, they're gonna be looking for an extraction, all super far away from this area. You can see bottom left, there's two extractions and, and uh, top left, there's nothing here. So they're gonna to have to run and when they get the bounties, they can use a special dark site, which can show them nearby players. So I may get screwed in that case. They might know where I am, so just in preparation for that, I'm going to get a little bit out of range so that they're not, uh, they don't immediately know that I'm there. So that at least I have a little bit of an advantage, uh, you know, kind of surprise them, if you will. Again, I don't really want to be in this area just because. Um, there's potential for people to come up from the south. So I'm going to stick around here. I don't know if, if this is in range or not of the dark site. 
I really don't know how much of a capacity it has. Uh, I also want to just be able to see things. So I'm going to try to find a decent spot. Okay, they picked up the bounty, so shit's about to get real. I think I'm in range, so I might be a bit screwed, and I just fell off my beautiful tower here. Okay, somebody is running. They only picked up one bounty, which is very strange. We can also see them on the map, so let's check it out. Okay, one's running this way. I honestly have... He's getting shot at. He's running this way. He's going to be going to this extraction. So, man, I just heard some birds this way. Which was probably him. Okay, let's start chasing. He's getting shot at. So for some reason, there's only one bounty that got picked up. So that might be another solo player. I honestly have no idea. But if he's getting shot at, it's possible that it's from a team of two. It's possible that he's just shooting zombies. So there's a lot of stuff we need to worry about here. I also don't want to get too ahead of myself. Of course, this is the swampy zone, so it's going to be very long to get through. He's got a really good run on me. Damn, I didn't think about that. And we're all learning here. <laughs> um, oh. Was that shooting? It's totally possible that actually the best spot to be was the other side of the church. Um, kind of in the danger zone, I guess you can call it. Where is he at? He's got a huge run on me. All right, come on now. So at this point, we're going to assume that anybody who is left in the game is probably either chasing him or worrying about the butcher. So we're going to assume we're relatively safe in this zone. So we're just going to make a run for it, not really worry about any anybody that might see us. Oh, come on now. Keep opening up the, the steam overlay. But yeah, again, it's possible that the, a better spot would have been the other side of the church, um, which could have... I mean, obviously, if we knew where he was going, that would have been a great spot. But um, at least it would have put us in the zone to like quickly react to where he's going and kind of cut him off uh, instead of where I was, which... Now we're kind of chasing, and we'll hopefully catch up to him. But um, he's got a 30-second timer on the extraction, which we'll see if we can catch up on that. Or if he runs into a emulator or something along the way that, again, we're not going to worry about people knowing where we are. We're just going to run for it. That's why I didn't mind about the crows. And we're not, like, super close at close to him either okay so he's going this way we're, we shouldn't be cutting west because we're going to be wasting some time come on come on come on run This game is deceivingly, like the map is deceivingly, I guess, small. Is that the right way to put it? Um, when you look at the map, it looks really big. In reality, it's not. Um, so, I mean, it is kind of big. But basically, my point is you could accidentally start running a little more than you wanted and be right on top of the person you're, you're following. Um, whereas on the map, it looks like it was going to be a lot longer to run there. So I'm going to be periodically checking the map just to make sure. Okay, he threw a choke bomb, I believe. 
So he probably fought off an emulator. Somebody's getting shot at. Or he's just shooting with joy. We're a bit far still. Come on, baby. Damn, he's just extracted. Shoot. Okay, well, he extracted. Let's let's go down to the butcher. Why not? Um, I'm not really worried about the bounty, to be honest. Like the, the one that was left there. I know I probably could have picked it up, but I was more interested in the, the actual fighting. <laughs> the actual fighting of the game. So um, since we have... Since we have time... And the people that are here at the butcher are kind of sticking in the same spot, which makes me think maybe they're they're hunkered down for whatever reason. Uh, possibly a team is fighting them. Um, kind of gives me a bit of of excitement because they may have to be stuck there for a bit, and we can try to show up and pick off at least a couple of people. Got these lovely zombies on me. And fighting me. I swear the zombies, they definitely have a running advantage over normal people. on some birds right there there's an emulator okay they're making their way to the extraction so we're just gonna hightail it that direction um, I hear a couple shots not really sure if they're getting shot at it kind of sounds like it Lovely bees on my back. Okay, they're definitely getting shot at. Where are we at? They're right there. Suddenly one another there's two of them. The horse. Again, not really worried. Of course, the zombies have a running hack, so there you go. Gotta kill him. This is really annoying. And they're going to be at the extraction. So they're probably going to extract as well. Um, which sucks a bit, but hey, you know what? We didn't die. <laughs> we didn't die. So I'll take that, I guess. There's a there's a weird balance in this game where you have to be, like, stealthy. But also, like, clearly you can't be too stealthy. Otherwise, things just kind of um, get past you. So, in this case, there they go, they extract. So we're gonna go ahead and extract as well and uh, start another match, see if we can get something a little more interesting going. But hopefully the kind of the thought process behind what I was doing was fun to listen to. Um, if it was, let me know down in the comments. If you guys have some different strategy ideas, uh, feel free to put those down below too. I'd be very curious to think, you know, what you guys would do there. Um, you know, I'm sure some of you guys would go in guns blazing. Maybe some of you guys would have stood by the door. I don't know. Uh, maybe some of you guys have done this many times before. Let me know. And I am always happy to learn from you guys. And we can make some videos using some of your strategies. I would love to do that. That'd be a lot of fun, actually. So anyway, we're going to extract, and uh, I'll see you on the next video.